All right, welcome everybody to the Monday, September 23rd select board meeting of Conway, of course. I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes of September 9th. Um, I looked those over, Adam, very thorough as always. So I'll go ahead and make a motion to approve the minutes of September 9th. I will second. All in favor? I guess Aye. I don't want to do that, right? If she seconds, it's already. <laughs> well, yeah. All right. You, you can second us. a motion, but then not vote in favor. So you right. do still need to, yeah. <laughs> uh, second um, agenda item here are the warrants. Um, I looked over all the warrants uh, you know, earlier. Everything is very status quo. Um, so I'll go ahead and make a motion to vote to approve accounts payable warrant and the amount of $612,107.35. The payroll warrant in the amount of $146,822.73. And then the payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $37,169.03. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Okay, meetings attended by select board members. I had school committee on Thursday night. Um, went over budget things, uh, you know, summer budgets, summer maintenance. Um, you know, talked about the the heating system um, and how we manage that. Um, Everybody was in attendance. Our new board member uh, was there, which is awesome. Uh, but very productive meeting. Awesome. And then all of us attended the, um, wasn't really a meeting, but the uh, Senator Mark and Representative Blaze were in. Um, everybody from the select board, including uh, Veronique, was there. Um, and then again, it wasn't really a meeting, but uh, Veronique, Ron, and I met at. Uh, Wendy Simon's place to go look at the culvert oh, okay. on the Reeds Bridge. Yeah. Um, so I thought that was very productive. <laughs> and I believe, I believe that's it. Okay, moving on, uh, public comments. Nobody's on that. No unfinished business. So we can- We're so efficient. Yeah. <laughs> so we can move on to new business. Um, now we didn't need to, we'll wait for Ron and obviously um, the gentleman from Mabel Row, Ben, ben we're going to come here and discuss that later. Um, we're also going to table <coughs> the discussion on the contract for RRG tax assessments. Okay. Um, so uh, first on, on the agenda here for new businesses, discussion and vote to sign a contract with Festival of the Hills and the approval of the use of the kitchen. I see no issue. The school kitchen? No, no this, this kitchen. kitchen. This Honestly, kitchen. I think they're just being very diligent because I think every year they have yeah. used the kitchen, but they, so I spoke with the Board of Health, no issues, sure, we can, you know, so I okay. think they're just dogging their eyes and crossing their teeth. We use that kitchen for a lot of yeah. anything that happens around here, right. so I don't see a problem with that at all. Me either. Yeah. Um, and just so you're where they are going to be using the South River Meadow for parking. Oh, that went through. That okay. came through. Yep. For, I think it was, they have some conditions on it, which I don't recall right offhand, but it was up to five years to be able to park there for the festival. Are they going to run a shuttle? I don't know. Okay. So the okay. term of the contract is only for this year. Oh, Festival okay. of the Hills, so you'll yep. see in here it's from the 23rd, which okay. would be today until the 7th. October. All righty. Uh, okay. Umbrella liabilities of a million each currents. It's very good. And hopefully this will be the last year we have to do this. All right. Yeah. yeah exactly. Because there'll be their own. Well, there'll be a town committee. Town so committee. Yeah. Covered by us if the special legislation goes through. Okay. So I'll make a motion to sign uh, this Festival of the Hills contract. I will second. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. All right, now the fun one. Uh, 
long discussion on a cele uh, celebrating the oldest town resident. Cool. I think this is a great idea. <laughs> Who might that be? Well, we're not supposed to give the names out right now because okay. if something happens, then we should have it be a surprise. But okay. um, somebody came, approached me, and said, you know, we'd really like to do this. And as Adam certainly well knows it was the Golden Cane when Helen Reed turned right. 100. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how this would work because if it's not like turning 100, I'm not sure how, you know. Well, she got it before she was 100. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah. Okay. We so, have the oldest. We have some residents that are in their mid to later 90s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I think I sent you all a list mm -hmm. of the top yeah. 10. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Um, I had to look at that date again. Yeah. First date, I'm like, wait, no. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so we weren't sure um, how the board wanted to approach this, uh, whether you wanted to do a, it had been a golden cane, but then the cane was sort of supposed to be passed on to people. And yeah. I was thinking it might be nicer if they did something that was more permanent, like a plaque or something that they got to keep rather than. I think that's a good idea. Where I did also, the golden cane go? <laughs> I, I don't know if you thought about this, but maybe also use that list for like check-ins. Mm -hmm on the older residents, especially in the much later years like this. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good idea too, even if it's the health department or even um, the big D, Don, just to have you know a simple check-in to see how yeah. they're doing. I think he's been working on that slowly yeah. to make sure that he goes and sees pretty much everybody. But we were talking that also we could put a plaque here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that, that might be and better we, and because we can go back so the people can get a little thing, but then here, because right. at that have, age, do you really want anything? I don't know. Probably not. But then here we could have like a, it would be uh, also interesting to see maybe if we had like um, a news article or history of what might have happened in or around Conway in the time they were born. Oh, that's great. You know, Chris, can I make a suggestion? Yeah. So you could do a. To that, to what you just said, a story about them in Conway terms. Right. And to Adam's point, you could, because if you give somebody a plaque, it's just going to end up in their estate. And right. So it's just going to have to get rid of it. Right. But if there's a plaque at town hall or right. here with everybody's names on it, it's each yeah, over the them, years. Over the years. Right. It's sort of a permanent memorial. Right. A plaque for awesome. Okay, of flowers for them. Yeah. That sounds good. And we were trying to figure out if there was any way we could go back through history to have names before now. So we right. could go back and see who, you know, in a given year, who was the oldest resident or, you know, right. just kind of go back through our history. But you're right, giving somebody the plaque themselves is just going to be something to dust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we call it something like the Silver Star. <laughs> something like that, right? <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I like this idea. Okay. Yeah, me too. Um, so should I go back to maybe like the Council on Aging and say they've got your support and they let them develop yes. their yeah. idea? Yeah, okay. sounds great. Okay, great. Thank you. And if you could also just mention the health check-ins. I just think it's a good idea to do that. Anybody beyond, you know, I, I think the list you sent us, nobody was younger than 85. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So... <laughs> I know I have, there's a gentleman that lives between us. Yeah. You know, right when you turn the curve to go up to your place on Jack the right Mason. there. Yes. Yeah. He's 92, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. And I mean. He's still vertical. And, and like you would never know just like talking and hanging out with the guy. But at the same time, it's like, oh man, you're driving on your, you're taking care of your wife. Like who's looking at you? Who's looking after you? So I know he wouldn't want check-ins, but just to have the option. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't want a little socialization? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that'd be great if you could go back to the Council on Aging. Like, sure. Or definitely yeah, with us. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Should we jump then to the toilet? <laughs> toilet? Jump, to, jump into the toilet. Uh, all the ADA compliant. Yeah. Sandy, yeah. The toilet. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll skip because Ron, we need him for the next one as well. Discussion and vote on switching to an ADA compliant 
Santa Can for the transfer station. Sounds so, like it's a no-brainer. It's, well, it's going to be more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I also feel that we should have one there no matter what. I agree. <laughs> I, I agree with you. Yeah, I just wanted to get the board's approval before I called them up and said switch it out. So um, I didn't get a response on my question as to why the... Because we pay one hundred seventy three fifty right now as a recurring charge. It's going to go to 200 and then the restroom itself is a rental of 81 a month. So it's going to be like three... Oh no, I'm sorry. She said it's going to be yeah, two eighty one a month. The first month will be an extra little extra for the drop off, you know, okay. um, and and take out. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just going up a hundred and like one hundred six bucks. But the pumping shouldn't change, right? It's just the well, the you know that's why I, I emailed and I yeah. like I said I haven't heard back, but she did tell me it's hard for her to get to her emails sometimes. So my what what it had been explained to me is it's probably because of the size of the toilet and how you have to get to it, and, yeah. you know, so. Well, for those of you that are watching or might watch, one, we should have one up there anyway for anybody who needs it. But two, it also offers a little more space for the TA, um, the attendants up there in the winter when they have very large gear on. It's very hard for them to take that gear off to use the restroom yeah. um, with the current Santa can. We don't want them streaking across the park. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. So, I mean, I'll make a, uh, I'll, I'll, Make a motion to vote to switch into an ADA, ADA compliant standing camp for the transfer station. I will second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank yes. you. And I'm sure the TSAs thank you. <laughs> so we'll just move on. Uh, no items anticipated 40 hours in advance. Um, I'll wait for you on this one just in case they walk in. Any comments or concerns to the select board members? Mm -hmm. No. Um, we do have some mail. Um, you know what? We should go over the superintendent thing. Um, first, and mail though, we, yes. Yeah. So I'll skip the HUD grant support letter for now. Well, that, that one, just so you know, is pretty easy. If you okay. approve it, then you could just go into the email, click here to sign it, like I did with the other one you gave me permission. So, for. what is the HUD grant support? Uh, it's, yeah, it is from the FERCOG. Um, like Housing of Urban, Urban Development HUD? Here we go. They're um, applying for a HUD Pro housing grant with Pioneer Valley Planning Commission and another number of other regional par partners, including Rural Development and Wayfinders. Um, they're, they're, FERCOG is just completing a regional housing plan for Franklin County that shows our region is facing unprecedented housing prices and affordability issues. Yeah, like everybody else, yes. If right. awarded, this grant would provide Franklin County with five years of funding to begin to tackle these issues at the local level. So it's a technical assistance from the FERCOG on tasks that include revisions to zoning, updating municipal housing plans, preserving existing housings, conducting public engagement regarding the need for more and affordable housing. So that's basically what it is. So they're asking on the home exemption. <coughs> they deal with that as well. Yeah, I'm all home support. Me too. <laughs> so it just says we hope to have every municipality in Franklin County sign on to a general support letter to assist us. You could, you or your board chair slash mayor can sign on here. Okay. And there's a click. So sure. Okay. Easy. Great. So request. oh, actually, I guess I can do it too if you want. Me okay. To. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Elaine and I are both Absolutely. in agreement. Okay. Okay, request of your select board for, uh, from our superintendent, our great superintendent, Darius. Um, so I don't know if you've read this yet. Basically, it comes down to we need uh, to elect somebody um, to help out with negotiations, collective bargaining representatives mm -hmm. from our town um, that the select board designates. Well, we don't want to do, I'm it can't be one you. of those people, but it yeah, can't be me. it can't be you. Right, exactly. So, um, I believe Veronique's in the unfortunate situation of probably needing to do this until we can find um, somebody else to take it on. But since she knows how, um, one, collective bargaining works and how the um, municipal funds are allocated and spent oh, and right. how, you know, one... Uh, contract can uh, obviously change every other contract. So. Yes. Um, sorry, Veronique. 
It dragged on last time. I don't think it'll be too complicated this time. The only concern I had actually, because I really, I don't mind doing it, but is if the meetings are held on nights when I have other meetings I have to go to. I, I don't know if we well, know the schedule yet. Well, right? they can't be on Mondays because neither of us will be able to. Right, so, right, okay. You know, okay. now they flip around. They flip around. Okay. Then the other thing would be Frontier Regional Capital Committee. Um, this is for that. a select board member. Yeah, so Phil was on that as a select board member. So um, that is an opening. Uh, there are likely only going to be two meetings in one year. That's fine. I'll do it. All right. Great. You heard it here. <laughs> so that's the FRS cap. Well, right? We could, though, make Eric do it. She's not here. But... <laughs> she's on the cap. Fun, sure. She's got enough stuff. And we don't need to vote on that, right? That's just. Yep. No, I just need to know so I can, yeah. I can let them know. Lane Campbell. Thank you, Lane. I appreciate that. Uh... <laughs> so, no announcements. Just wait on. I could go through my report. My oh yeah, I'm sorry. The yeah. town administrator okay. updates. Thank you. <laughs> Next meeting is two weeks. Two. Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, well, actually, we'll we'll get to that because okay. we might have. Right. So the the um, the tax classification hearing and the signing of the RRG contract are both delayed, and we're hoping to have that completed as quickly as possible. So I'm hoping. We might be able to call a meeting with the assessors and the select board for next Monday if you guys are available. Just do a quick tax classification hearing and sign their contract. It could be Zoom. Be done. Oh, but you have to have the signed contract. Uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to sign it. Yeah. So if it's short, I can do it. Okay, because they're meeting on Wednesday, the assessors. So hopefully they'll have every, everything to give to me by Thursday. So I'll be able to let you know Thursday if we need a schedule for. Cuts into my pickleball time, but I'll, <laughs> but I'll do it for you. It's getting dark. I mean, what happens if it rains? That cuts into my pickleball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so TA updates. Pretty soon the dark is going to cut into Oh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Well, I just heard the door. Yep. That was that was oh, okay. Oh. Um, so yeah, there is a lot of there are a lot of committee updates. By the way, oh, one of the things um, which I was unaware of, it's not on this report, but I'll tell you. Um, my Skype is there. Um, is that in the Conway bylaws, it says that it's the town clerk's responsibility to send out all of the notifications to committee members when they've been appointed by the select board. Oh, really? It had been done by the town administrator since I got here. So oh, I thought Lori did that anyway. No, oh. no, nope. it had been a letter from me. So Lori and I talk, and I'm like, please, yes, do take that. Okay. <laughs> so that well, she'll be in charge of. Does she hit them up with all the things they have to do? That's, and that's I'm sure why, because she's in charge of right, the the swearing in conflict and, of interest. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it only makes sense for her to be doing that. Yeah. So the only thing we'll do is after a meeting when you've appointed somebody new, mm -hmm. we'll send it over to her and then she can take it from there. Great. Sounds yep. great. Yep. There's so. Ahead of time. Oh, right, right, right. And Adam had a great idea, which Lori liked, which was the way it had been done when I got here was you'd sent a letter and said, you've been reappointed. If you decide you don't want to do this, let us know. And Adam's like, that's a little backwards. Shouldn't we ask if you want to continue and then we'll reappoint right. you? So, right. so and I think scrambling once doing. somebody comes back and says no. Yeah. Right. Or doesn't even bother to answer or whatever it is. So yeah. 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 Um so um I think you all know this, but I did I wanted to, I wanted to try the budget season a little differently this year. So and now that we have a personnel committee, um I was so excited because there are some questions that come up during the budget season that I'd really like specific committees to look at and discuss before we get to the budget season. So finances meeting, September, October, November, capital, same, personnel, same. And then in December, all of us are going to get together and talk about specific things like what can we afford for salary increases slash COLA? What shape should that take? Um, 
the capital budget requests, whether everybody's behind it, salaries versus stipends, so that we can go into the budget process with some recommendations kind of already on hand. Um, right. I've already told you about the assessors. Mm -hmm. uh, community preservation, we still don't have mm. that committee so important. up and running. Well, we're going to have all the members, We, uh, I hope, because Mary Kay Costello has agreed to be the rep from the CONCOM. Mm -hmm. um, and Jan, you know, Parks and Rec will be meeting and they'll hopefully select somebody to be their rep. So they'll have a full slate of people, but Can then- they put something in the cards? Well, we, do, we, there's, we don't need more members. The last- We need a chair. But one of them has to be the chair. Oh, and this was I one gotcha. of my concerns that actually I want to talk to them about when we get to this, because the way the bylaw is written, it sets it up so that almost everybody on there, there's only two at-large positions. Right. Everybody else is already doing double duty. Right. Nobody's going to want to be chair if they're doing double duty. Right. You know. So, I don't know. I don't know the, uh, the legal makeup and how it would be to change the bylaw, but that is a concern. Of mine. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, to have somebody plus you be at large yeah. and, and be the be the chair, and just to find the person willing to take that on. Who are two mm -hmm. are at-large people right now? It's a quiz. Jack Farrell. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the second. Sorry. Yeah, I don't remember the second average person. Anyway, um, so hopefully they'll get going soon because if anybody has anything for June Town meeting. Mm -hmm. What's better than that? Yeah. Oh, come on right up, Ron. <laughs> And that's all she wrote. <laughs> oh, that was short. Well, I mean, most of it has to do with, with yeah. Ron anyway. Right, exactly. <laughs> How you doing? Mm -hmm. oh, pretty good. Yeah. Pass this down to Ron. Yep. Yep. Oh. Pass away, anyone. This is for you. Thank you. We got done with everything else. Now we're ready for you. Oh, I was making you wait. Huh? <laughs> no, Sorry. We're going over stuff. Um, what would you care to talk about first? Cleaning staff or about the uh, Maple Row? Well, it's, it, is Ben coming? You said you thought he. Oh, no, it was Karen who said he No idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Oh, the contract for the public safety. So maybe that was Ken. Yeah, it might have been Ken. So maybe he's not coming, so you could always just. Okay, well, why don't we move on to the discussion of the cleaning staff position at the highway department. Okay, so as you know, we're having a lot of trouble finding help. Yeah, yep. And I've hired a cleaning company, and that's not going so well. Um, things aren't getting done that we was hoping to get done. And in the highway labor labor position, part of that is cleaning. But I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to find somebody with that broad of a um, scope of you know going from cleaning to yeah. working on the highway department. Yeah. I mean we did we have in the past, but I have to do something about the cleaning. Yeah. And I don't have time to do it myself. No. Mm -hmm. So what I was thinking is maybe just hiring a part time just for strictly cleaning. How much time do you <clears throat> think it is? Do you think it's a uh, eight hour position um, no more than that that i can see I mean, do you think we could wrap it into what the the school the people that clean the school i don't know just like adding adding right hit the highway department right i don't it know would who's just be cleaning facility, the school now right? they're actually very good it would just be for that facility right which one the highway department garage no 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 it's for here it's everywhere the town okay. office town oh. got it okay got it oh yeah. i thought it was just for got it no no it's uh, all the public uh, oh that's probably all the public buildings 
Got it. It's probably that's it. what I saw when I was signing, mm -hmm. when I was looking through the paperwork of the warrants. So I was Is just that making, like half time then. Uh, for what? To cover all those buildings. How many hours a week? I was thinking. I was yeah, originally thinking four, but because when Randy was doing it. It was taking him roughly about four hours a week, and then there might have been times that took him a little longer. But I think if we figure eight, we're just, we'd be real safe and getting things done that need to get done. And the company you were using just wasn't doing well, a good job. They're still doing it. Yeah. Um, we're having difficulty in scheduling and knowing for sure what gets done each week. So at work, we have like a hit list. Do you have a hit list? We're supposed to have. But and then they, they leave it like what they did that night. So, you know, it's a but the, basic One checklist. of the problems is, is meetings. Evening is not an ideal time mm -hmm. um, for the cleaning company. And that was the only time they could do it. Oh. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this would be very time specific, right? It would have to be like six in the morning right. to be able, because nobody's meeting at six in the morning for this building. For all of them. And for the town offices, yeah. all of them, really. No, who's in the town offices after? They have meetings there all the time in the evenings. They do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and right now, with by the way, my payroll budget is, I mean, there's no issue. Paying, you know, hiring a part time. Okay. So we're already three months into the new year, and I'm down. I mean, would it just be a wash as far as not paying the company that's been doing it? Would it be kind of like a close to a wash or what? It probably. Yeah. But it's so, coming out of different lines. Right. It would have to come out of my highway payroll. Budget. Yeah. So we should probably. But that's how that was all set up in the beginning. And it was when they moved all the payroll to my highway account. But that one of the speed buildings and... Yeah, it shouldn't all go to your account. Yeah, I want to go to the Well, highway. that's how that position got made into a full-time position. Because originally it was, um, we, hired, we had a person working for building and grounds right. for part-time. <clears throat> we made that turn that into a full time position under the highway department. Uh, so that that falls under the highway department. The clean. Budget. Okay. So now we have to break it back out and put it into the budget that it I don't think so. In. I mean it, it's just part of the highway payroll to do the We just want to make sure it's captured in a Right. I, I was gonna say it's already being if that that position that we're now don't have, um, it's not filled, comes out of the highway. That position, that full time position was part of that was the cleaning. Yeah, right, but everybody is, else should pay their share. Yeah, exactly. Our predicament, I, would, I think we're thinking the same thing. Right. We don't want to take out of your exclusive highway budget for buildings and maintenance that's being done on every. Building. No, but that's the way it was set up. I, I understand. I, I just don't want to make sure that, that that it takes out of your payroll what should it be into a separate payroll for buildings and maintenance. I understand okay. what you're saying. It's group. We, okay, but we had, that's how it was originally, yeah. and we took that out and put it all into highway so that person was all part of highway um, just for the convenience of that person working being said ports for the highway department. Okay. We can, I mean, if that, if that's something that needs to be changed, we could do that the next budget year because there's no payroll in building and grounds. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you see. Okay. Yeah, there's no payroll in building and grounds, so it's going into your mm -hmm. payroll budget. Right, right, but, but that that's always assumed. been planned. It was assumed, I understand. It was already, it was already okay. in there budgeted for the cleaning right. person. So the, the question in my mind would be, should we come up with, do you want just a, a short part-time job description for cleaning only, and we just put down what those duties are, 
Yes. And then, so if you approve that, we'll just do the job description and. Well, I certainly okay. don't want our employee, yeah. our town employees, to be cleaning up. Not <laughs> enough toilets to Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I mean, and, and we, you know, the the labor position, which includes the cleaning part of it, we do have a couple applicants that we're going to be interviewing. Okay. So this may not be end up being necessary. Just that I was getting very frustrated and people not happy with the cleaning and okay. not having any power to do anything about it. We gotta keep our buildings maintained appropriately or they go downhill quick and cleaning's part of that, so. But, so, for tonight we should get board approval to go ahead and at least we could, right. if, we if these to. people don't work out, mm -hmm. we could at least just try to find somebody Okay. You know, so you're going to try plan. to have it still be in the position it's always been, yes. but in the short term, you need a fix. But if that part of that position becomes an issue for yes. a new person with the cleaning part, because right. it's a very, the position is a very broad thing of what happens with the right. highway department, and it, and it worked before, but you know, we had people that did both, everything. Just that, I don't know, I've been, stuff that I've heard recently is, well, I ain't gonna do that job because of that. I don't want to do clean. Well, it's also different skill sets. Not right. everybody, right. Yeah. you know, knows how to, has been trained or properly knows how to clean appropriately, especially. Which is important in the question. days of COVID. Right. You know? Chris, can I ask a question? Yes, yes. So this is the starting place is a job description? No, no, no. No? No. Um, we're just, we're talking about having the position there available um, in case the other two applicants you have that could be taking over cleaning duties with other functions. All right, I guess the, the reason I'm asking the question, and I'm asking this question now as the chair of the personnel committee, is jobs need job descriptions right. at some point. That's not happening now because it's, short it's an term. unknown as to what this individual's responsibilities would be. That's fine, but at some point, if you want a dedicated individual to take on a, a town custodian position that includes highway department cleaning needs, town office cleaning needs, whatever, then at some point there should be a job description. I so, think I think we can carve it out of the one that was already there because it oh, there was, is one. Well, it's part of the buildings and grounds. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, yeah. okay. So if we just kind of carve so that section, section out. Done. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we, but you're right. It should be put into a separate if we Correct. need to. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So right now, right now, you're thinking a temporary position, but it might be more than that if the people you're looking to hire are not of this. Right. It may, well, <coughs> I shouldn't say temporary, part-time, mm -hmm. to do the cleaning. That's strictly what that position would be, is to mm -hmm. the cleaning position, which would be taken out of the laborer's position. Right. So with these next two, I think we've got two, two. we're hoping for interviews. If for some reason they don't work and you know we need to get cleaning done, we could just literally carve that out mm -hmm. and then try to hire somebody. Mm -hmm. Right. just the cleaning. So it <coughs> seems to me, having gone through this at work, that it might make sense to just hire a service for that eight hours because but that's, 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 that's what I do. Right? That's what it, we yeah. tried to do. I have a cleaning company. Yeah. Well, then royal maybe a more reputable cleaning company because, they, you know, then they fill they, the sick time. They, yeah. like, they, right. you know, it, they deal with, they deal they with the job gets done no yeah. matter what. The problem I mean, is that I we need to hire somebody that is bonded. Right. There's not many out there. Cleaning I services had, that are not bonded? Huh? Cleaning services that are not bonded don't exist? I didn't say they didn't exist. They're hard to find. Okay. Um, I, believe me, I called a lot of places and this is the only one I could find locally. I think it's okay to attack the problem two different directions right I agree so I don't see a problem with at least putting um, 
of requisition out there or job opening out there. Um, it, maybe we can find out who the school uses and if they could. All right. Well, there. Yeah. You know, as far as the schedule, not do nights because <laughs> right. that obviously doesn't work. Right. Um, Our school. Yeah, the elementary school. Yeah. Well, the part-time guy is also a dump attendant. Yeah. Oh, right. Right. Yes. Because that's the only one they have for mm -hmm. part-time. Oh, know. at the school, yeah. You're right. You're right. And he just started back up again there. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Well, that's not enough. Um, you can't take him away from the dump. No, no, definitely not. Okay, I mean, do you have any other questions about? No, I mean, I would think we could research for Ron. Yeah. And other cleaning companies, I mean. Bonded. Right. Cleaning companies, yeah. Well, if we could get the approval for the part-time guy, I mean, it leaves us. Uh, right, but we said right attack now. it from both ways, yes. yes. Yeah, and I it, mean, gives, it gives you time. I got you. Right. Okay. Things are... <laughs> All right, so I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion to vote to have um, uh, a cleaning staff position opened at the highway department. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Part time. Yeah. Yes. Before you were here, we did um, get approval for a new ADA compliant sandy can up at the transfer station. So I might need to talk to you about where that should go. Your thoughts on it? Because it can't go where it is now. Inside the issue. <laughs> I was told of an option that I think could work, um, but I'd have to go up there to kind of show you or have one of the attendants show you. So. Well, Ron's not going to be dropping it off. Oh, I was just can trying I just to get draw so a you... picture real quick? It's yeah. basically you're asking for snow removal. Yeah. yeah, I just where it won't be in your way, but will be in... outside the gate. Because <laughs> I was thinking by their storage ship. Except sometimes yes, they park too. there too, but but there's this is this is the like with the rakes and stuff. Here's the shed. Here's where you put the metal. There's a a big concrete column right here. Yeah, right in front of the. Program. Yeah, if we put that concrete column there and put the, the toilet here, as long as the pumper engine obviously could get and suck that up, that means that. Nobody would be able to back up into it if you had that concrete column. There. True, but you got to talk to Ron about that because he needs to get in there to be able to crush the metal. So right, yeah. I think that's enough space. But if you could look at it next so, time, so you're you know what I mean? Like I here's, know we, here's I know the guardrail yeah. that goes down the hill, and then that one concrete pillar right there that it's it yeah, has right, the yeah, hooks propane on it. Tanks, right? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, it's yeah, it's doing this right now yeah. for the propane tank. If we can move it like this, you have to talk to your guys. Who's that? The transfer station? Yes. Yeah, because there's, there's something. It gave me a hard time about the concrete block there, where it is now. But we had to put it there for the tank. So, okay, so I'll talk to Tim about it then, or we can talk to Tim. Well, yeah, but it could just be way all the way down at the end. It might but, have something to do with snow removal. Yeah. Because they take care of it, they clean that up. Oh, oh, to be able right. to push it off. Over. I, don't know, I, don't, I don't think they plow it. No. Yeah. We don't plow it. Right. They clean it. And the closer it. to the shed would be better, best, yeah, obviously. Definitely. So they're not walking all the way or they're slipping have to walk or all whatever. Around anyway, because people, it's, it's, they're going to have to be able to access that area. True, but I, if, if we could find a, a position closer to the shed, I think it'd be. Well, better. that'd be nice, yeah. But might I mean, as well try. And then if that doesn't they work. They could also potentially clean out part of their shed and just stick it inside there. But I don't yeah, know that's that what they either. said that too. And yeah. it's an option, but. I would think that's what you were where you want to. Yeah. Cover. I would think so, but that's a, it's also depends on the company. But anyway, yeah. we can sort yeah. of Sure. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Be here for hours. I love it. I know, right? Yeah. Where to, where to put ADA Sandy Cam? <laughs> okay. Um, so, do we need to talk about the public safety? I mean, Ron does, is it needed for that portion? No, it's just you. We've got the payment bond, the performance bond, yep. the liability insurance. We've got everything right here and okay. ready to sign. and. Did you have anything else you wanted to bring up while you're here? I'm meeting you at some point, probably tomorrow, right? 
No, I probably won't be a good day, actually. But okay, be, Wednesday, whenever. Yeah. At some point this week, just let me know. Yeah. Wednesday will probably be the best because Thursday okay. won't be good either. Let me change my phone. Schedule. Mm -hmm. Is it on Wednesday? Got it. Perfect. Great. Thank you, uh, Ron. Appreciate it. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Um, do you want to go back into your uh, updates? Should we talk about mosquitoes? Oh, uh, sure. Um, did I put mosquitoes on there? No. Oh, you didn't? No. <laughs> I think I just sent that to you in a. Okay, we can talk about that next meeting. In an email. That's oh, okay. I mean, if, um, if you just want everybody to be aware of that, um, there. Yeah, because I sent you. That's right. So, Ann Gobi, our rural affairs director, that was the position that was created by Governor Healy, meets with the rural communities like every Wednesday at 10. We have updates from her. And it's just half an hour. But this last one was about mosquito control. Just everybody had a lot of concerns about what was going on with mosquitoes. There's been so much in the news recently about human cases coming up. And so, um, this woman, Taryn from, Taryn from MDAR, just came and gave us an update. And one of the things that I've been curious about, because when I was on the Board of Health and then um, with the town, we had done this mosquito program where if we wanted to not be sprayed aerially for mosquitoes in an emergency, we had to create our own management plan. So we did that for a couple of years, and then we didn't get any. So the legislation expired. So that's why. It's not an option for us. Yeah, anymore. we don't have the option to opt out anymore. Yeah, there's no opt out anymore. So the question then becomes, do we want to look into a mosquito control district? Do we want to have, what, what's necessary to have some control over our fate of what happens in Conway? And one of the people on the call was interesting, was bringing up the idea of doing some of this, um, dropping the, the, the little donuts that do the you know, in very wooded areas and stuff, using drones for that. And so mm -hmm. it, was, it was an interesting conversation, but I didn't what know. Is that pesticide? For the, yeah, for the, the, the dogs to put in some normal control. Yeah. Mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's hard to, you know, it's hard to access a lot of these rural areas and mountains, mountainous areas. So if he was just saying, if you had a drone that could be dropping these, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, but if, I don't know if he wanted to request the Board of Health to look into, you know, do a little research because that's really where it goes through. Usually, is the I think there's plenty working. of communities around us that would want to join in and some type of thinking. Well, there's a district, and, yeah, yeah. and Conway didn't want to join the district before, but now that this isn't an right. option anymore, I didn't know if it should come up again just for discussion. So I think we should look into it, should it yeah. investigate it. Right. Okay, so I'll ask the board of health if they would mind. Okay. Yep. See about joining the district and. Advantages, disadvantages. I'll bring up public comment again if you want any public comment. Um, I'm just the only public comment I'll make was within the context of. Uh, well, I, no, it's not as even the two committees I chair, I would just say that there are a lot of commercial cleaning services in this area. And if we're having a problem with the one that's we currently have a contract with, the contract should be enforced. Yeah, so we should look up, I mean, all of us can do, do some research and maybe help out Ron and see if we can find any reputable companies that he hasn't used. Yeah, I think part of it really was about the timing because they thought they could come in in the evenings and then they were coming in to clean this room in the evening, and there's a meeting here every week. Is there actually a contract with the company? That we I don't know. I don't know. know. I would assume so. Well, so I never assume you yeah. have a contract until you see it. <laughs> Doing business with a town municipality you know, should have a contract. Yeah. Who hold, who's the holder of contracts? Well, it would be done through Ron. So. Well, I, I see him Wednesday, so I'll see yeah, if I can see can. the contract. And then, um, cool. I'll talk about that later. Mm -hmm. So, uh, great. Unless you have anything else. I do not. Veronique? Um, do we?
Did we discuss the transfer station stuff? Uh, which just the floodlights and that we're working on the catwalk. No. Okay, so we should talk about that then. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, obviously they we're all underway, but no. Right. No so details. I'll just bring this over to you. It looks heavy. It is. <laughs> it's very heavy. This is the OSCO. So this is the OSCO example. Yeah. Um, what they use, obviously, it has grip and then um, perforated, so you can the snow and. Um, yeah. Water can go through. Um, it would be orange like this from what Russ told me, oh, great. which great. is great for visibility purposes. Yeah, uh, and of course Definitely. metal, so it wouldn't rust or uh, wouldn't uh, rot over time. Oh, we'll bet that's pricey. Uh, it's not. It's not as. It's a better. The rate he said was better than what I could get in my company with the with the discount. Oh, okay. At like almost fifty percent better. Oh, okay. So I think it was very, a uh, very reasonable rate and local. How soon could he have? With two to three weeks. Oh, geez, that's awesome. We get it by winter. Yes. Let's do it. And yeah. then, um, well, he's got to get the quote to me. Yeah. You know, and then, you yeah. know, do we need other but, quotes? To, but to be, well, if Chris has a couple, he can get it. Uh, I have a couple I can get. So oh. between 10 and 50, it's, I just have to get three documented quotes. Yeah. Okay. So if you give me two, we'll have that one. Yeah. We'll be good to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I did say to him that um, just delivery alone, because they're going to be, you know, making it up there. The delivery charge for something that heavy would probably price anybody else it's right totally out. It's totally true. Yeah, it so, would. Uh, yeah, oh, I love the cup that it's yeah. bright. Yeah. you know, that's and it's metal. And it's metal. Yes. <laughs> he did ask me the top bars whether we wanted those to be wood or metal, and my immediate response was, well, "Let's do metal." And he said, "Well, it might be a lot more expensive to have metal, and the wood would be not as cold in the winter to hold on to." So he's going to price it out both ways for okay. us because okay. it's be pressure treated wood. Yeah. So you guys can decide. The rail is easy to fix. Yeah. Like if, right. if it's, it's pressure treated, that's 30, 20 to 30 years anyway. Right. right. And it's not structural integrity. It's right. something. Right. Yeah. So so I, I kind of like to start yeah. that it'd be warmer to the touch yeah. in the winter. And, but that'll be 100 yeah. plus years. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Solved a problem for a long time. Yeah. Exactly. Long term investments. Yeah. So and then. Um, Jan Amin had given me the name of somebody in town who I didn't realize, I thought he was from Cold Rain, but he's from Conway, and he's a licensed carpenter, and he's already been up to the transfer station to look at the catwalk to make sure that it's true for now, that it's, you know, solid. Um, and he's also going to be speaking, he's already spoken with Tim, he'll be speaking with some of the attendants about probably insulating the floor of their shed, mm -hmm. just to make sure it's oh, that's a good toasty idea. warm. Yes. Yep, so that'll get done. So hopefully there'll be, then the last thing we'll have to deal with is going to be the Conway Mall. That's going to be the big thing. Yeah. That floor is huge, though, before the winter. If they can oh, put yeah. some sips down there or something. Because yeah. underneath <laughs> it is completely air. It's yeah. all just cold air. Yeah. So. And so you get that smell, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Yep. So um, hopefully those will all be taken care of. And then I did buy a stopgap measure. Well, actually, I think it'll just be useful anyway. But before we get the lights put up on the pole by the cardboard compactor, before we get them fixed, I've got just a couple of floodlights, motion detector, battery yeah. operated, that we can put up. And they have, like, it's one of those that you, when you're driving into your garage. Yeah. And it, yeah. So it's like 75 feet. I think that will cover them if we have two or different. Yeah. They should at least have nice light whenever they're. And the video camera, um, the security camera is 100 bucks off uh, recently. So, um, I was asking us, Berenice, to just get one of them for now, yeah. see how it works. Yeah. If we feel we need a second one mm -hmm. uh, closer to the actual entry gate, we could look into that, but I think the one will be enough. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, we might need to one for the entry gate and one when they go around. But... Yep, that's where we're going to put it, is yeah. back there, yeah. where those issues where people are just drawing stuff. stuff. Yep. And the only other part of my update I forgot to mention was that the um, the sale went through for the zero off Ashfield Road that was approved nice. a year ago down awesome. the It finally closed that's last great. Thursday, so that's done. That's great. Um, Excellent. Yeah, and actually, just so you're aware, all the, the, the law is changing um, on our selling property, so it's going to be, this one wasn't effective, thank goodness, mm. but it could be more problematic. 
Is that because of the real estate law that changed? Yes. Oh. Well, it's it's because of yeah, it's because of one of the Mass General laws that they yeah. put in, which has to do with they're they're trying to fix the um, if a house is taken under foreclosure, making sure that people get their equity. I think Mary McClintock brought that up at town meeting a year or two ago. Um, Anyway, so this law is trying to address that, mm -hmm. and it has a two-year look back, and I don't know all the details of it, but our property was a land of low value. It didn't, it didn't do. And also the taxes. So we took it through non-payment of taxes and sold it. Right, and there were a couple auctions first. It was a very long process, so yeah. yeah and what's that? Did an abutter buy it? Yes. Well, Hank is, Hank is the abutter. No. Yeah. And then obviously ADU laws are changing in the state. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I know the planning board's looking into it, but at some point we should all probably have a discussion on how we feel or if we feel there should be a more robust bylaw to um, ensure that that we aren't surprised by anything mm -hmm. with ADUs. Hey Chris, um, I can comment on that. As a member of Zoning Board of Appeals, yeah. the zoning, the, there is ADU bylaw at in Conway, but it's not very detailed. it's for an attached unit not yeah. a detached yeah, unit it's yeah yeah so the the separation of this is the detached units yeah so that's what we'll have to look into which yeah. has been a barrier for people but it also has sort of controlled what can happen <coughs> yeah you just have to be pretty close to your house to have it happen so. there's a well there's a lot in this new law that becomes goes into effect in february 2nd i think and so the planning board is definitely on top of that. And I've spoken with town council, and she's already working on some of these zone bylaw updates for other towns. So I've, I've talked with planning, and you know, I know they're working on the language for annual town meeting. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure they will be bringing to, that to you once they have it settled for you all to review. I know Buckland already worked on something. Shelburne's currently working, according to yeah. the recorder. Yeah, <laughs> currently working on yeah. something. So I'm sure they'll they'll address everything that I I think that we would have concerns with. We just don't want to turn into Vermont. One of the interesting things that town council brought up was the fact that the common driveway bylaw will have to change. Yes, it will. Because of the number of units allowed, yeah. and now it can be doubled. Yeah, whatever yeah. that is. So yeah. yeah. Dwellings. Dwellings. Mm -hmm. Dwellings. So it basically forces us to change the things we have in, right now. Yes, because the current, <clears throat> I know all about the, uh, the, the, the shitty, the yeah, <laughs> yeah, the driveway. It, it basically states you can have um, up to, uh, is it three or two dwellings off of a common driveway? And it can be a certain um, size. And once it goes beyond those three dwellings, the size of the driveway is like larger than the size of a road out here. It's insane the, the regulations they have with it. But if people decided, oh, I want to put an ADU for my old parents to live in <clears throat> on their property and they have just a regular driveway, and, but they also have a, a barn or something like that, another, it'd have to be a living dwelling, but another dwelling, um, they might have to have a horribly robust driveway that wouldn't make any sense based on our current bylaws. So those things need tweaked. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but again, I just don't, I want to make sure that, you know, we proverbial, we Massachusetts don't turn into Vermont mm -hmm. where 50% plus of the homes are second homes for, right. for people, right? And people aren't just buying a home to put an ADU on it and then have multiple renting, rental units on one property. Amherst. Right, exactly. <laughs> this is going to change. Yeah. Because Amherst, you're supposed to be, you know, a resident mm -hmm. dwelling, you know, but nobody. Just pushes the old residents out. Right. Raises the cost of everything. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so that's what I have to say on that. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Adam? The vote for Maple Row. Oh, vote for Maple Row. Oh, oh, my gosh. Uh, so yeah, the discussion and vote on to sign the contract for Maple Road Farms. Oh, I thought we did that last week. We did, but this is for the actual 
This is signing for signing the contract. contract. You approved the low bidder. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, this is just actually signing because I had to get all the paperwork. We approved the contract. I will second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. <coughs> Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm. Let's that one. I just want to read my pen. Okay, next meeting is, um, well, actually Monday, next Monday, which is, oh, it is the third year, it's already on here, you already put it on here, good job. Oh, uh, Adam did that? Oh, good job, Adam. <laughs> uh, next meeting is Monday, is next Monday, at, September 30th. Is it at six? Mm -hmm. and, and it's 99% sure, I hope, um, but if we have to cancel it, or not, not even call it, we will, this is for doing the tax classification hearing with the assessors. Right. And the RG. Those are the only two items I have on there, so. It'd be a short meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that was only 10 minutes last year. Yeah. Yep, I remember, yep. All right, great. Well, if there's nothing else, uh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye, thank you.